In case you missed it, it seems that Hungry Fat Chick has had a bit of a setback. In addition to the declining views on her current weight loss content, she's also experiencing some physical back and forth. This seems to have contributed to her latest decision to go back to doing mukbangs. While this is a very personal decision, I'm sure there will be quite a bit of commentary about this particular announcement. So in this video, I'd like to offer up my two cents and a recipe. Candy, I think that there's a way that you can do this and still work on your health at the same time. As Foodie Beauty likes to say, we all have to eat. And you make your money doing eating shows. So I think that if you put a little more time and effort into the actual production of the videos, that could make a huge difference. Let me show you what I mean. And I have some mushrooms, like it's a mushroom mix with onions and all kinds of stuff. And uh, cheesy broccoli from Green Giant. Mm. That is a big, big meal, but I can't wait to dig in. Yummy, I love chicken. <laughs> All right, here is my food. So what we just saw is how you currently present the food that you eat. With this particular meal from the Hawaiian restaurant, you go on to say that it's about 1400 calories. In my opinion, you could have made this look a lot more attractive and cut some calories by plating this up. You could have ditched half of the fries, cut the musubi up into pretty slices, fan them out, and put everything on a platter. I really do believe that this would help. I got the idea for this video a while back when you were talking about your grandma's sweet potato biscuits. I thought, okay, I'm gonna find a recipe that'll help candy out, and I found this one for sweet potato pancakes. I'll put a link to the full recipe in the description box. At the time, I thought you were still doing low carb, so I switched it up a bit, lessened the sugar, use coconut flour with the all-purpose flour to give it more fiber and less carbs. But then foodie up and went to Thailand and I got kind of sidetracked, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, back to this recipe. The reason why I like it is because you can make pancakes big, you can make them small, you can freeze them, and you can have them whenever you want. So in a way, these pancakes represent the sort of stuff that you want to eat and also the sort of stuff that you should be eating things that aren't too bad for you. Now the thing you have to remember is that people on the other side of the screen don't know about the food that you're putting in front of you. So what they see as a giant meal could actually be a portion controlled calorie counted meal that you designed specifically for this. If I was your personal cook, this is how I would do it. I paired the sweet potato pancakes with some bacon, just two pieces and some scrambled eggs. That's two eggs scrambled with a tiny bit of butter and this nut salsa that Foodie Beauty loves so much. It's actually really good. For some additional color, I sliced up a tomato, added a sprig of basil from my garden, and added a little bit of fruit off to the left. That's just half of a canned peach and some fresh pineapple. All in all, I'd say that this is a pretty attractive meal, don't you think? And as for mukbang, you've got everything represented. You've got fruit, You've got veggies, you've got carbs, you've got meat. How many calories do you think are in this? Prepared just like this, even with all the condiments, the honey and the nut salsa, it comes to 830 calories. You don't need any fancy vintage china like I've got, or any specially prepared foods. You could do this easily, even from restaurants, with a little bit of research and time. Basically, what you need is a combination nutritionist and food stylist and you can train yourself to become this. In the meantime, if you need some help, just DM me on Twitter. I'd be glad to create a few more meals for you. I really do believe that the popularity of your channel and your own health goals do not have to be mutually exclusive. Viewers, drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think. Do you think this is a viable option for candy? I'd love to hear from you.